Hello, 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 and welcome to Kickstart. Now imagine this, you've just created a 3D AutoCAD object, whether using the 3D AutoCAD commands or you use Markville solid modeling tools to create that 3D object. But you would like to turn it into a Markville product so you can maybe add some sub-assemblies to it, send it for manufacturing down to a CNC machine, among other things that you can do with a Markville product. How do you do it? Well, with one fancy schmancy tool that goes by the name of Solid Model Analyzer. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all about it. As usual, I'm Ludwig from Markovellum, and we're gonna Solid Model Analyze this kickstart. I think that works. I'm gonna keep it, keep it, it's good, it's good. Alrighty, here we are back in our Markovellum toolbox. And as you can see on my screen at the moment, I already have two 3D solids drawn up. One that I've drawn using the Extruded Product Builder and the Smart Layer Manager, and another one that's, to be honest, a plain old 3D AutoCAD object that I've nicked from one of our cat managers. I mean, look, it's a pretty cool little airplane. I mean, airplanes aside, we want to convert this and this guy over here into a microbellum product that we can possibly send to the CNC machine. Maybe we can tweak it a bit more using some microbellum functions like machine tokens, for example. In any case, we need to use a tool to convert it. And that tool is going to be under our solid modeling tab. And it's going to be this guy right over here, our solid model analyzer. We're going to click on him. And so far, we're just going to highlight over this object over here to start us off. Go to hit enter, and now it's gonna ask us if we would like to save this drawing before we start analyzing. And I always like to save my drawings before I do, so I'm gonna hit yes. Now the back end of Markovelm is going to start tinkering away, converting the solids that it's seeing and converting them into Markovelm parts. It's gonna recognize the thickness of the solids. It's also gonna recognize the smart layers that are currently assigned to those 3D solids. It's gonna recognize what the part names are meant to be, what the material's meant to be. It's also gonna recognize what machining is going in within those solids. Are we drilling? Are we gonna be rounding? Are we gonna be pocketing? All of that it's gonna realize and it's gonna find out through its own algorithms. So we're gonna let him squirrel away, let him analyze those solids like there's no tomorrow. And once it is finished analyzing, we're gonna be greeted with this pop-up saying that, would you like to save this drawing and would you like to save the products that we created to this project? We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And we're gonna pick a place to place our Markovellum product. It's gonna place them over here. And there is our Markovellum product ready to be used. In fact, if we go to our part properties, which if we go to modify and we go to modify products and then over to this little cog over here, this will tell us what parts are currently within our Markovellum product. As you can see, we've got our bench tops. You can see the material automatically associated to them. We can see all the different plates, the kick face. We can see all the panels, all the different parts that are going within our cabinet. Unfortunately, our product is given a rather generic name, being the date and the time that it was analyzed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that. We're gonna go over to our product viewer down below because every time we add a Markovellum product, we add it to this list over here, this list being a little window into the database that Markovellum saves to. And we can see, if we scroll a bit to the right, our product's name. What we're gonna do is we're gonna double click inside of it, and instead of being called product blah, 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 we are going to call it stud wall. And there is our stud wall. Now, a lot of the work that has gone into it has already been put in through our smart layers. So what happens when we take a raw 3D object? Well, we're gonna go back to our solid modeling tab and we're gonna go back to solid model analyzer. And this time we're gonna hover over our plane over here. It's gonna ask us one more time, do we wanna save? And I am gonna say yes again. And now it's gonna, like before, start analyzing the solids that it is seeing on the screen. Now this product doesn't have any smart layers assigned to it. It's got no layers 
assigned to that phone in that manner. So it doesn't know what material to assign to our product. In fact, it's given us a pop-up here asking us to select a material for our eight mil thick solid. How do I know it's eight mil thick? Well, if you have a look up the top here, it's gonna tell us the thickness of the solid that the solid model analyzer is picking up. So from here, I can either pick a eight mil material in here, or I can create one if I don't have one. It's gonna do that right now. It's gonna go over and just create a MDF eight mil. And we're just gonna set that to eight mil here. From there, we're gonna go over to my Kickstart project, because that's where I created that MDF material. Let's hit OK. And we're gonna hit OK once more. Now, just like before, it's gonna ask us where we'd like to put our microphone product. And here is our newly created microphone product. Now, if we go to part properties, similar as before to this product, so we go into modify, modify products and part properties, click on this newly created microphone product. You can see that instead of those parts that we had before, it's given us just generic part numbers. Now from here, we can obviously add part names here to these parts here. I mean, what good is it? Is part one, part two, part three gonna do to our cut list? So if we go over to part one, we can call this one over here, whatever name we need it to be. If we go over to whichever part, we go this one, we're gonna call this one, say, win. So now in this part list, it's gonna be becoming win. We can keep going and we can keep processing through this list, changing the names as we go along for each of the corresponding parts. Now, same as before, at the moment, because we analyzed this, it's gonna give us a generic name with the date and time that we analyzed it. So we can once again, double click in here, and we can once again, give it a name. And from here, because these are now microvellum objects, we can process into the CNC machine. We can even add further machining through machine tokens or drawing parts in 2D as well. And that is our solid model analyzer, analyzing any 3D solid it sees and turning it into that beloved microvellum product that we all know and love. As usual, I am Ludwig from Microvellum, and as usual, I hope you all have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.